Egypt is building a new capital city in the middle of the desert. Egypt has done a lot of things in the past couple of years that will make you scratch your head and wonder what on earth the people in power were thinking. However, this time around, Egypt is doing something that could have a long-lasting positive effect on the country. Egypt has decided to build a brand new capital city. By 2045, Egypt will have a brand new capital city. This will be an international city that attracts tourists and investors from all over the world. Egypt is still in the early stages of building its capital, but the project could change the face of the country for the better. Here are why Egypt is building a new capital. Why are they building a new capital city? In March 2016, Egypt's President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi signed a decree to build the new capital city. It will be a modern, planned city covering 700 square kilometers, 270 square miles and costing an estimated $45 billion. Completion is scheduled for 2022, when Cairo's population is expected to reach some 25 million. But there are questions over whether the government has the funds to pull off such a huge project in such a short time frame. The Egyptian government says it needs a new capital because Cairo is running out of space and cannot support its growing population. It also says that a new capital will help boost Egypt's economy and move it away from dependency on tourism. According to current plans, the new city will have residential areas, wide roads and parks. It will also have its own administrative buildings, an international airport and several universities. Supporters of the plan say that Egypt can afford the cost of building a new capital city because it has large financial reserves as well as high levels of foreign investment since its main source of of income tourism was badly hit by terrorist attacks in 2015 and 2016. They say Egypt should not be dependent on one source of income and should instead invest more in industry and technology. How much will it cost to build the new city? The new capital will be built in a few phases, and the total estimated cost for the construction of the new city was projected to be $45 billion. The first phase will cost $1.5 billion over five years, and that includes the development of three residential areas with a capacity of 230,000 people in an area of 615 Fedin around 162 hectares. The city is expected to have 270,000 residential units at full completion. The project will also include the development of business centers, offices, hotels, and malls. The new capital's government buildings are planned on an area of about 2 million square meters, 21.5 million square feet, and its security buildings on 1.3 million square meters, 13.6 million square feet, while its green areas will cover more than 3 million square meters, 32.3 million square feet. The project's second phase will also include developing infrastructure, building a railway network linking it with other parts of Egypt and establishing industrial areas within the city. In August 2015, the Egyptian government announced that it had allocated 1% of the new capital's total area to house presidential palaces, while the remaining 99% would be allocated to construct affordable housing units. Why is Egypt choosing to build a new capital city? Egypt will build a new capital city in the desert on the east bank of the Nile River. According to reports published by state newspaper Al Aram and other local media, the project will be carried out by the army, rather than the Ministry of Housing or local government, because it is considered a military zone. Multiple sources close to the project told Al Aram that the new city will be built on 2% of Egypt's total area. They added that this is an initial phase and that the project will expand as more areas are designated making it into a mega-project. The new capital is expected to cover an area of about 5 million fedins. One fedin equals 1.38 acres. It isn't clear why exactly Egypt needs a new capital city. Some say that it should be far away from Cairo to protect it from earthquakes. Others say it is to secure economic independence. Many people are skeptical about whether this project can succeed. It has been said that developing a new capital city would cost more than $100 billion, an amount equal to half of Egypt's foreign debt in 2015 which was $55 billion. This comes at a time when there are many problems in Egypt, while its foreign reserves have, 